Hello guys, welcome to Jagametrics. We are looking at autocorrelation detection test using e-views. The linear regression model assumes that there is no serial correlation or no autocorrelation. In other words, the linear regression assumes that the error term relating to any observation is not influenced by the error term relating to any other observation. And if left unchecked, the OLS estimators are no longer eff efficient and whatever conclusions we draw or inferences we make may be very misleading. The Tomo Watson statistic is used to detect the presence of autocorrelation in the model. The Broad Godfrey test is a general test of autocorrelation to detect the presence of serial correlation in the model. Now, the procedures for the Tomo Watson test on new views is first you double click on the equation and then we we'll check the Bowasin statistics. So let us do that by presenting the e views. We we'll double click on the equation and then we we'll check. When we scroll to the right, you can now see the double Watson statistics, which is 2.135683. Now let us look at expanded view of it. Now look at the double Watson statistics 2.135683. Kindly keep this in mind as you also go to look at the procedures for the Bruce Godfrey test on e-views. First, we have to double click on the equation and then we click view and we scroll to residual diagnostics, we select serial correlation LM test and then we impute number of lags and we press OK. Let's also see that in our e-views. Okay, this is um, first of all, we double click on the parsimonious ECM, we also click view, go to view, and then we scroll to residual diagnostics. We click serial correlation LM test. Then we include the lags. The lags we use for the ACM is four lags. We'll include four lags and then we press OK. Now when you scroll to the right, you see the F statistics of 0.503225 and the probability of the F statistics 0.7336. And now what does what does this mean? Okay, this look okay. This means that uh, for the, the the Watson test, the Watson statistics of 2.13 shows that there is no presence of serial correlation or no presence of autocorrelation in the model. And for that of the Godfrey test, the probability value of the F test, which is 0 0.7330, implies that we accept the null hypothesis of no serial correlation and reject the alternative hypothesis of serial correlation. Hence, the Bruce Godfrey test indicates that there is no presence of serial correlation in the model. Thank you very much and please like and subscribe to the channel.